What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Let's talk about drones. Uh, drones are amazing tools to have and can be used for a lot of different reasons. Uh, artistic creation, cinematography, also useful with different types of businesses. So they are a great asset to have. I've been flying drones for over five years now, which doesn't sound like a long time, I know, but I've been, I've had some experience with flying drones and different types of drones. Um, I would not consider myself a, a professional drone pilot at all. No, although I would consider myself experienced in some ways. So keep that in mind as we go on throughout this video. Take it for what it's worth, all right? I'm not a professional, but today I do want to give you five tips to help you become a better drone pilot. Okay. So, and you know, take it from me. I want you to, to learn through my mistakes. Okay. So that's what we're basically doing here. I want to just say that, and, and I guess this is tip number one. Okay. Tip number one, don't go out and buy the most expensive drone there is on the market. I would suggest that you start with something inexpensive. I myself started out with this little guy. Very small, very inexpensive, but I mean, it's a drone. It's, it's got propeller blades just like everything else. So flying it is really uh, basically the same as a larger drone or a more expensive drone. There's no point in going out and buying the most expensive drone on the market because you're more than likely going to crash it or lose it. I can't tell you how many times that when I've flown a drone and, and people see me or they come up to me and they're like, man, I, I bought a drone one year for Christmas or I got it me. I went out and bought myself a drone one time. I flew that thing. Whew. I never saw it again. Or, yeah, I went out there and got me one of them drones and I flew it and I, I, you know, I thought I had it down pat, but I was flying real low and then I decided to go up and it got stuck up in the trees and as far as I know, it's still there. I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. So if you don't want to just go out and waste all your money, then buy something cheap and learn how to fly it first. This, this is exactly, this is literally the first drone I ever owned right here. I don't even know where it came from. I know it's super fast and it does flips, which is kind of cool. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, I would say, and this may sound, this may sound stupid or like common sense, but tip number two, practice. Practice will help you in every aspect when it comes to flying a drone or operating a drone. And if you think about it, with everything else, whether it be sports or a musical instrument, or I don't know why acting just popped into my head, but anything you do, if you practice at it, you are going to get better at it. So practice flying your drone. It kind of goes with tip number one, buy something cheap and practice with it. Like this was my first drone. Look, this, this was my second drone. This I do believe is lighter than this, this one. Okay. Uh, it's a little bigger. It has a camera. So that was, that was a big step up. But I mean, I flew this thing all over the yard and I treated it as if it were a $2,000 or you know, $1,500 drone, because at the time it was all I had. So I wanted to practice flying the drone properly because I didn't want to crash it. And not so much didn't want to crash that drone, but I didn't want to crash a drone that cost a lot of money. Um, so I wanted to have some, a little bit of experience. Hey buddy, what are you doing, bud? You, you okay? It's my buddy. You probably can't see, but practice. Practice, go out, fly your drone in a, a safe area, somewhere that you feel comfortable flying the drone, because if you don't feel comfortable flying it, 
you're gonna be nervous and that's just gonna make it worse okay so go somewhere and get comfortable and practice flying your drone practice flying in out around all the different types of scenarios that you're gonna be flying it out in either professional work or any type of situation you'll be prepared also if it has a camera and like the Mavic 2 Pro that I have access to over here practice operating the gimbal, practice operating the camera, whether that be starting video, stopping video, taking pictures, whatnot. Also, practice adjusting the camera settings because in time you'll get more comfortable with this and you will become a better drone pilot. All right, tip number three is to do your research. Now again, this might sound kind of ignorant, but YouTube and the internet is full of very valuable videos, how-to videos, tutorial videos on how to fly drones, how to set up your drone, how to adjust and set up your camera settings. So why not take advantage of all those videos and all the resources, resources that you have that's eventually and evidently, hey, hey, don't need that. Why not take advantage of those videos and resources that, because it's going to help you in the long term become a better drone pilot. Go on to YouTube and search, do your research for, you know, price, uh, flight time, specifications, benefits. Uh, there, I'm sure you can find a, a, a video on every drone that's made today. Do your research and see what drone fits your needs. Um, see how to operate it properly before you even take it out for your first flight. That way when you do fly it, you'll have a little bit of information and knowledge and feel more confident in how to fly it properly. I, I promise you, the more confident you are in flying the drone, the better pilot you're gonna be, okay? So, do your research. Tip number four and tip number five, they kinda go hand in hand, but whatever, you know, we're gonna start with number four because four becomes before five. Tip number four is to keep your eyes on the drone at all times if possible. This is very important. I know that not all the time when you're flying a drone will you be able to physically see it in the air, but it sure does help if you can. Because you also, if the drone has a video camera, you can see the video feed, but if I can see the drone in the air, I can, I can, I got two different, you know, sources here. So keeping your eyes on the drone at all times, if at all possible, will help you become a better pilot. Tip number five is to be aware of your surroundings. <laughs> Again, now that might sound just as dumb or, or just as simple or whatever, but I crashed a Mavic Pro 2 less than a week old because number one, I didn't have my eyes on it. And number two, I wasn't aware of my surroundings, okay? So when I say tip number five, be aware of your surroundings, you can't always depend on the video feed that's coming to your, your device, okay? I crashed the Mavic Pro 2 in a tree because I was unaware of my surroundings. I was looking at my phone and the shot looked great. I was videoing in this direction, but I was unaware of what was back here, okay? If your drone has a camera, I would highly suggest that you move the camera all the way around, 360 degrees. If you have any type of question or, you know, let me, am I, am I safe here or whatever? Go ahead and turn that baby around all the way. Check your surroundings. Do it, I assure you. You know, take a little extra time to just make sure that you're in a good, safe spot, okay? Because had I had done that, I would not have crashed the drone. I would have seen that, yeah, my video shot looked great in front of me, but there was a tree behind me, uh, which is what I got stuck in. And thank the Lord Jesus that the drone didn't crash to the ground. <laughs> it did get hung up in the tree and it dangled there for a very long time and I had to wait a couple of hours to be able to get it out of the tree and I had a tremendous friend come and bail me out who had a lift and we were able to get it out of the tree and it was fine, not a scratch on it, okay? But I'm just saying, if I, if I was more aware of the surroundings, 
I would not have crashed the drone, okay? Those are five simple tips to help you guys become better drone pilots. And I think if you take into consideration the five things I mentioned to you today, they will help, all right? You know, flying drones are fun, but they also can be dangerous. They also can be, you know, kind of tricky. So the more confident you are in when you go out to fly your drone, the better pilot you're gonna be. So that pretty much wraps it up for today. Thanks guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, bell, all that stuff, you know. I really appreciate it. And I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.